Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Nexion Sprite's custom playmaker actions for accomplishing um, material manipulation at runtime. So first let's look what kind of stuff we would like to manipulate at runtime. So if we look here at the material inspector we see we have colors, tinting, we have values, and we have textures. And last but not least, we can also toggle, link, um, toggle shader features. So let's make a, a simple example. Let's add to the sprite um, an FSM. And we will just look for player input, let's say the spacebar. So if we go to actions, and then let's say input, get key down, and we will say space. And then we add an event which we called um, player input. Then we add a transition player input and we send the event player input. And now we make a new state which will then handle our manipulation. So, first we need, need to get our actions. So, if we look at the next gen sprites folder under extras, we have this Unity package which contains all our actions. So, let's import it. And we should now have the next gen sprites panel here or category. And as you can see, we have a bunch of actions. We can check for a shader feature. We can get float texture tint values. And we can also set float texture tint values. And we can also set um, shader features and shadow casting. But shadow casting is another topic. Uh, so let's ignore this. We will just talk about setting and getting. Um, flow texture tint values and the shader feature. So for this one we will make something simple. We will just say we will set a float value. And so let's look what happens here. First we can um, select a target game object which we, by default we will leave it as owner. And we can also select a material um, which we can also leave alone because um, it will um, look at the game objects sprite renderer and then it will find the material as you can see here so we can leave it as it is and then we can select the property we like to change so in this case we will leave it at a curvature depth and as we can see as it, it is currently set to one so let's use a target flow from float from let's say 0 0.1 for example or actually let's leave it at zero so that we can see that it will become completely flat and we can also select that this should be applied to the shared material and if I um, untick this box then it will basically make at runtime a material instance. So let's play and now I press the space key and as you can see the sprite turned flat. Great! And we can also make the same for um, colors or tinting. So let's say set tint and let's disable the set float and then we can change for example the sprite tint. Let's say red. Let's play and press space and now you can see it's red. And we can also make the same for example for the curvature highlights and oh as you can see now the sprite actually keeps being red even though I leave play mode this is because I forgot to untick the shared material. So uh, let's put this back to white and untick shared material so that it makes a new insert instance of the material so that it does not change the original material. So let's play. And if I press space you can see that we change gently it changed the color of the of the highlight surface. And now it's bluish again, as you can see here. Good. 
So next one, setting textures. Set texture and take this the setting. We don't like. Actually, we can remove it. Remove action and remove action. So what do we like to change? Let's say we like to change the reflection. And let's see what how the current reflection looks like. So it's this galaxy texture here. So let's um, choose this sky texture here and untick shared material. Now let's press space and as you can see it's now changed to the sky. And if we control here, if we look here in the material inspector, it's true, it's the sky. And we can also um, disable the reflection. So let's go back to actions and we can say set shader feature. Let's remove the set texture. And so we say reflection. And in the toggle here, if the checkbox is unticked, then it means that we would like to disable the feature. And if we tick the, the toggle checkbox here, then it means that we like to enable it. And for our example now, we like to disable the reflection. So let's play. And again, press space. As you can see, it's now, the reflection has been now disabled. And if you look here at the ins material inspector, it's true, it's disabled. Now let's say that you like to toggle the feature dynamically. So if the feature is enabled, we will disable it and vice versa. So for this we will make just a simple check. So let's disable the set shader feature and let's add a check shader feature action. We should action um, check if the reflection is turned on and we retrieve a bool. So let's add a variable which is of type bool and we call it um, feature state. And then let's add it feature state. All right. And our next step is to add a logic that makes a bool test. And it tests the feature state bool. All right. So um, if it's true, so the feature is enabled, we like to disable it. And if the feature is disabled, we like to enable it. So let's make two events. We call this enable feature and disable feature. Now if we go to the state, again, if it's true, we would like to disable the feature, and if it is false, we like to enable the feature. So let's add this true transitions, disable feature, and enable feature. Now let's add two new states. First one we call um, disable, and the second one enable. So let's connect these. And now what we will do is to add just an action, next gen sprites action for setting the feature. So set shader feature. It will be reflection applied to the instance material and toggle uh, it's already unchecked. Great. And makes the same here for the enable feature just with the difference that we like to check this check mark, uh, checkbox to tick it. And now if it's finished, finish, let's go back to the player input state um, checker. Actually, let us give this proper names. We call this uh, feature checker, and this will be the input listener. Input listener. Good. So now let's play. So we, see, as you can see, currently the reflection is enabled. If you look at the material inspector, it's enabled. So let's press space. And now it's disabled. Let's check again. Yep, it's disabled. And let's pray, press space bar again. Now it's enabled. And so on. So yes, yeah, you notice you can 
do very simple um, stuff here, a very easy complex um, uh, logic here. And yeah, that's it. And um, I hope you like this. And if you need more help, um, you can just, for example, click here on this um, book icon. And then it opens the um, wiki with some more explanations. And furthermore, um, you can also check out the Unity forum. And also you can just write me an email. So thank you for, for watching. See you soon and bye bye.